Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a car game in Blender 2.6. Um, this is an improved version from my previous video um, where it was kind of hard to set up and uh, I didn't have a mic or anything. Um, this new video should be much better. It's The car is now much easier to set up. Like before, you had to go into the code to align your wheels. And now, if you want to move a wheel, just move it in the 3D world. Wherever it is, that's where it's going to be to your car. So just put the wheel where you want it, press play, it's done. Um, and then you'll be able to do more without having to edit the code as much. Um, actually, I'll pop up a little preview of how it works. Um, okay, so this is basically the car right here. Um, so this is how it works. You get like a wheel, all right, or uh, so you go ahead and press play, it works. Um, if you want to move the wheel, just move it and then press play. And now the wheel's moved. So it's much better than last time or uh, in the last script. Um, another thing, if you remember from my last video, if you saw it, Look, the steering is now animated unlike the other video where it was just an instant steer where the wheels just kind of pop into place um, so yeah this one should be much better than the last one so let's go ahead and get started um, you can download the starter blend from in the description of this video I'm gonna go ahead and save it Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the physics. Um, first of all, you want to go up here and change this to Blender Game if you haven't already. So this way you can like actually edit the uh, object physics. Um, select the car, go over here, change from static to rigid body. And then enable no sleeping. If you don't, you're going to get some bugs. The car won't move. So make sure that's enabled. Uh, mass, you want to change it to around 200 anything a uh, couple hundred should be good and then collision bounds change that to convex hull uh, yeah it should be good you can also use triangle mesh same thing as convex hull uh, but I have errors with it like the car will just start randomly floating and stuff so I go with convex hull I'm like I'll show that in the video, I guess. Um, anyway, um, the next thing, the wheels. Uh, select the wheels. Each wheel, you want to just change from static to no collision. So just do that for every wheel. All right, and then um, for naming, when you go and go cover naming, um, you name the car whatever you want but the wheels have to be something specific this wheel over here this is tire FD right here just so you know and then this one tire RD this one tire RP and tire FP and uh, that's it for the naming uh, for now at least um, Okay, so we can go ahead and pop into logic now. Uh, change, go up here, just go to game logic. Uh, change this to dope sheet, we're going to use it in a minute, and then change it from dope sheet to action editor. Uh, we'll need this in just a minute. This is what we're going to use to animate the wheels. Um, so select the car first and add five properties. Name the first one engine and set it to boolean. This will tell if the engine's on or off. Check the box the engine's on, uncheck if the engine is off. Therefore you won't be able to drive. Leave it checked for now. Um, and then this one, you're going to name it forward speed. This will tell the car's forward acceleration. I'm going to go and put 800. Uh, so I don't forget to fix it later. 
if you leave it zero, your car won't move. So if your car's not moving, check that and also check the engine. Uh, reverse speed and set that to around 600. And then brake amount. You can set to whatever you want. I'm going to do 40. And then this one down here, steer controller. We'll go over this in a minute. Um, set it to string for now. Just leave it blank. Um, yeah, it's going set up steering, I guess. Uh, so just add an empty and put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right in front of my car. And then just parent it to the car. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Let me turn on screencast. Okay. Um, so now if you move the car around, it'll move the empty with it. This empty is going to control the steering. The way it works is this empty is going to be animated. So when you turn, it's going to turn this empty like this. And then the wheels just copy the rotation that this empty has. So, um, so just go in top view. We'll go and animate it. In the action editor, click new and name it steer or anything you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, go to frame 90. It has some errors if you don't like. I tried starting at frame zero, but I get errors every time. So just go to frame 90. I rotation and then go to frame 180 and then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise okay and then press I rotation so now that empty is animated and then the next thing you want to do is shift E linear extrapolation I guess that's how you pronounce it and then now your empty is going to turn constantly so if you want your wheels to spin around a little bit as you're turning, you can do that. Uh, okay, add two properties to this empty. Frame and uh, turn amount. And then switch them to integers. Frame, you're going to put that one at 90, the starting frame. So... Uh, and then turn them out. This is the amount of degrees you want your empty or you want your wheels to turn. I like 20. So uh, 20 f or 25. So I want something like that. My wheels to turn at that angle. So that's 25 degrees. So I'm going to put 25 here. Just the amount of degrees you want your uh, wheels to turn. Um, you want to turn more than that. Just Enter, yeah, just enter the amount of degrees. Um, next thing, go ahead and add two keyboard sensors and an always sensor. Uh, name the first one left. And then just uh, put a key in you want to use to turn left. I'm going to use A. And then this one, right. And then D. And then here, you're going to just... You don't have to name it. Just click these two uh, buttons right here. I like to put it on the top above the keyboard sensors. You don't have to, but I'd recommend doing it. And then add a Python controller and action actuator. And then name the actuator steer. Set it to the steer action that we created over here. Change this play to property and set property to frame. Um, and then just connect everything. Okay, so we need to import uh, three scripts here for the game. So you want car setup, powertrain, and steer. All these scripts are available in the description. Um, now just add the steer.py to here and then that should be it for your empty um, oh name the empty you want to name it something I'm gonna name it steer or yeah I'll name it steer 
okay and then go to your car in this property steer controller you want to enter the name of what you name that empty so I named it steer uh, okay and uh, now it's going to add the logic to the car so I add two always sensors first one is going to be named run once and the second one run constant reason why I name them like this is this way you know the difference this one will run one time this one will run constantly like it just uh, runs 60 times a second this one will run once and that's it okay and then add two keyboard sensors or sorry three name the first one gas W uh, that's what I'm going to use and then the next one reverse S and then the last one break I'm going to use right shift and then uh, two Python controllers first one run once second one or the first one the first Python controller you connect run once that's it second second controller you connect everything else like that and then this first one change the car setup the second one change the powertrain it's important the order make sure the car setup is being run first otherwise your game is going to crash it may crash blender I'm not sure but yeah just be careful about that and then uh that's about it your car may be drivable now oh uh, select your wheels there's one more thing add to each of your wheels you need to add a property called grip and uh, make sure you put like uh, in the spelling of everything that I've done make sure you've been putting capital letters because this is case sensitive uh, like capital letters where I put them otherwise you're gonna have an error um, anyway uh, name it grip and just enter the amount of grip if you don't have any grip the tires aren't gonna grip then your cars not gonna go so I like to use around 10 you might want to change it for to how you want it but I'm just gonna leave it around 10 Okay, um, I don't know if I said it already, but uh, your car needs to be, like the direction it's going to be driving, it needs to be going along this green, uh, the direction of this green arrow. Uh, if it's not like facing the direction of the green arrow, you're going to need to rotate your car 90 degrees or however much you need to rotate it. And then press Control A and click Rotation and Scale. Do this to your wheels as well. That's basically it.